Hey, this is Vu, and today I'm going to talk about T-Side Dust 2, and this is a map which can be very feast or famine, because almost every game you're going to have the opera and T-Spawn that's, quote, locking down the rotates, and either you can make things happen and he can do his job, or you struggle and he does absolutely nothing. So I'll try to give you some advice on how to make T-Sides work, but first, a word from our sponsors. Hey guys, look at this new website, I mean box I just found. Sponsored content, that's not supposed to be in there. Elemental knives, what are those? And, oh, that's not supposed to happen. Let's open this baby up. There you go. And what's this little note on the side? It says, hey, listen, this knife is sharp. Do not play with this knife. That's true. I know it. This knife is very sharp, but it's a beauty as well. And it's got heft behind it too. Oh my. Let's check out the second one. That one's easier to open, and it's a lure. Oh, it's a beauty. Link in the description. Link in the description. So for T-Side Dust 2, one of the most obvious things to play off of is the spawns. Because more so than almost any other map, Dust 2 has a major variance in spawns, and a good spawn for an area can drastically change the way you are able to attack that spot. The most obvious of these being the long A spawn. Most players, if you know an opper, know someone that has gone for this angle, this peak, when he had the spawn, because he knows the timing works so that he very likely can beat the counter terror defenders to the angle and try to find the free kill now what people don't do nearly as often in pugs is actually attack long a you'll actually see most pro teams or at least a lot of pro teams early on in the half will attack long a whenever they can because if you can take long a control you can parlay that into a very easy a site take you get an opera or a player with a krieg in pit to control this whole area here you have someone toss a smoke on xbox you can come right here aim at this antenna and throw a smoke to smoke off xbox and you go back for cat control and once you have long and cat control a is essentially impossible to defend so how can you go for long control? Well, I can show you one smoke that will make this exponentially easier. Come to this general angle here, aim up from the middle of these doors, and you can go for a jump throw. And what this is going to do is it's going to smoke off the corner of long here. And what that smoke does, it should land a little bit further out if you throw it correctly, it's going to force your opponents to work around this smoke to actually try to defend. And what that does is it gives you more space for your better spawns to try to get out to blue bin. Generally, you can try to have your best rifle spawn get here. And it means that to defend, the counter terrorist needs to be wide in the open. And that means that a flash over, just a simple flash over this corner here, or a flash off of these doors will blind that player as he's trying to loop around the smoke to fight and it's going to make it incredibly tough they will no longer have this corner from which they can take a shot and back off safely it also means that if you have a very good spawn and an aggressive player you can have someone that pushes up to the smoke tosses a flash through and pushes through it aggressively you will see that quite often so my advice is if you can at all contest long and if it works out early on in the half continue to attack it attack it attack it so you may not be able to get long control every time either your opponents have a very strong long control or you just have terrible spawns so you want to go for a default some of the time well the most obvious one is to just throw this simple xbox smoke and go for a heavy cat Play. Generally, you can get your team to agree to make their way over to cat with at least two or three players and get control. Generally, I would suggest you play a default where you have, you know, the opera and T spawn, probably a player in upper tunnels or outside long, depending, and you've got three players going for this cat control in this pug. Now, what you want to do is you want to just make sure that none of the gimmicky plays from the counter terrorists will catch you off guard. In general, cat is gifted to the terrorists in that, in except for gimmicky plays that the counter terrorists will use to catch you off guard and grab free kills they can't really hold on to catwalk it's too close range it's too natable too flashable they'll just generally have an opera try to catch you off guard
hard, find a kill, and back off. So try to avoid that by sticking together and using your utility as you need it. A flash like that can work very well. A molly over towards the box there as well, if you want to be very worried about that opera, can work very well. But eventually, you will get this cat control, and hopefully, you'll be able to do it with five players alive. And once you get into this situation, is where a lot of players start to have trouble. What do you do from this spot? Well, unfortunately, it can be very tough if your team is baiting heavily, which is kind of the pug classic, but you can still do one of a couple of plays. Hopefully, your opera and T spawn has spotted how many cross. This is not always going to be true, but you can have that happen sometimes, or if he doesn't call it, you can still have some idea of the hold they're going for. If they're going for a 3-1-1, your best bet is to go mid to B. And there's really one way to do it where you can use all of the utility yourself. You can either molly like that to get this player off of the right side of doors, spam through to try to kill them as they're falling back, and then go for this, or you can go for this right off the jump if you want as well. Come to the angle here, toss the smoke towards there, flash off the wall, and you can use that to go very quickly out middle. And one of the beautiful things about this, especially if you get your team to play with you, is that you come out as that smoke lands. So if I show you the timing, there's the smoke, there's the flash, and as you come out, you're running over this corner as the smoke goes down because a major part of what you're trying to do here, especially when you're fighting against the 3 one one in which they have an elevator player, which is very standard nowadays, you're trying to beat that player over towards this angle. You're trying to get out and across the angle before this player can get in position to try to spam you, to try to flash through and catch you off guard. So you try to execute quickly and explode onto your opponent and catch them in weird spots and mid B is really the most effective way to find round wins if your opponents are trying to duo hold B that's the 3 one one with the opera mid falling back into B a little bit later because two is simply not really enough to hold on to B with consistency now if your opponents are playing more of a 2-1-2 and they're not playing that third player over on A, the most obvious thing to do is go for an A side play. Now, one of the things that can help you out in that is having a Krieg. I mean, the gun's pretty good, but especially on Dust 2, these angles are incredibly long range and you're going to be fighting against an opper. Certainly recommend picking this gun up if you can. Now, one of the things you can do is you can toss down this smoke right here. This is kind of a gimmicky smoke in that you can use it as a one way around the edge of it where... The only way they can really catch you is if they're double zoomed with an op and they see motion. But even that you can deal with by tossing a flash high and then just posting on it. Now I say this is a gimmicky smoke, but it's also a smoke that can be incredibly important in terms of getting out when you go for an A side play with your team. Because generally you have kind of no man's land here up on catwalk on elbow. The opera is going to be posted up waiting. You can toss one flash to push him back, but by the time he he's unblinded, he can post on the elbow angle as well. If instead of that, you toss this smoke down and you can toss as well a molly onto platform, you give yourself a much smaller area where the opera can catch you. And if you have a player close up, then you flash high. He can get all the way out to here before the opera is able to actually reset on the angle. And it can make it very hard for this opera to repeak if a Krieg is potentially posted right up on him and ready to fire. So certainly B is probably where you would rather end up because it's a much more obvious and standard play. However, if your opponents are playing heavy on that B side, smoking off, tossing a flash high to push the opera back, and just booking it onto the bomb site is incredibly effective as well. The problem again remains that you're teammates could be baiting a little bit and that's why I say it's good to know the gimmicky smoke as well because at the end of the day you can always toss that one down try to one way it and then do the ridiculous drop into CT spawn and hey if all else fails maybe this will work out but anyways thanks for watching and I hope this helped you know they say it's sharp but is it really though let's pull out a potato everyone has one of those handy right that thing is sharp as a mother oh my gonna make a meal with this thing elemental knives Woo.